Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, Wes Troop, and today we're going to do things a little differently. Usually on Thursdays, I do the viewer's choice pick, where you, the A-List fans, give me a movie to review. But... This time, I'm doing something a little different this week, so instead of Thursday, we're doing the viewer's choice pick today. So, today, I'm going to take a request from my father, actually, Dave Troop. He has requested that I review the 1976 horror film, Blood Sucking Free. Sucking Freak sees Sadhu, a theater director of the macabre, Enjoy and he also enjoys S&M and killing people in public, pretending that it's fake. Wow. Now there's a list of hobbies for you ladies out there. So, Seamus O'Brien plays Sadhu. Viju Krem plays Natasha de Natalie, who is a ballerina that Sardou kidnaps to dance for him. <laughs> Niles McMaster plays Tom Maverick, who is the football player that is dating Natalie. Uh, or Natasha, whatever. Uh, Dan Fauci plays Sergeant John Tucci, who is the sergeant, obviously, uh, evidently related to Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Alan DeLay plays Creasy Silo, who is a stage critic. Sardou kidnaps him, too. And Ernie Pfizer plays the Doctor, who is a doctor with a strange, strange fascination. And we also have the <laughs> infamous Louis De, De Jesus plays Ralphus the Midget. Yeah, that is a classic character. That's all I gotta say. So, what did I think of blood-sucking freaks? Is it a blood-sucking good time, or does it just suck? Well, blood-sucking freaks is considered to be a cult classic, or also an exploitation classic, for the A-list fans out there who knows what that means. Uh, don't be fooled by the title. It's not a vampire movie, so girls, if you go, Ooh, vampires! No. Uh, it's almost like a torture porn film, actually, and there's, uh, tons and tons of naked women. Uh, let's just say there's more Bush in this film than the 2004 White House, okay? Seriously. Wh which makes, makes me beg the question, what are you doing watching this, Dad? The film is also very gory, and it's, uh, considered to be one of the most disgusting movies ever made. Um, while it's pretty gruesome... I thought it would actually have been worse, uh, a lot worse. If you can stomach the Saw movies, any of them really, then you can uh, probably sail through this with pretty much ease. Um, of course, back in the day, in the 70s, I'm sure this film shocked the shit out of people, you know, it's uh, for, for what it is, you know. Uh, I'm not sure if it's good or not, but uh, I found myself laughing through much of this movie. Uh, it's just one of those movies that it's so bad that it's funny type deals. Um, and I think I was laughing instead of cringing at the parts I was supposed to cringe, you know? It's like, okay, whatever. Um, I doubt women will enjoy this movie as uh, it's one of the most degrading films I've ever seen. Uh, probably the most, uh, yet... It might give guys some ideas, so definitely, uh, you know, watch that. Uh, O'Brien gives a pretty interesting performance as Sadhu. And uh, as my dad said on Facebook when he uh, requested this movie, it reminds me of a person uh, we both know from the local theater. And as I said before, Ralphus is a classic character. And, uh, you know, when you see a little, a little person to be politically correct, running with a chainsaw, you, you're going to think, what the hell did I just get myself into? You know? <laughs> uh, while it's not a horror movie classic, I recommend this film for uh, any hardcore horror fan or movie maven 
that, uh, you know, to at least check this out so you can at least say you've seen it because it's, it's really strange, it's weird, but it, and it's funny, actually, <laughs> um, you know, and it's that if, you, if you're disturbed by it, at least it's worth a good laugh, you know? <laughs> Therefore, the A-list gives the film Blood-Sucking Freaks the rating of meh. I was going to give it a suck it, but I had such a good time laughing that I had to, <laughs> I had to up the game. Therefore, it gets a meh. So, you can check out Blood Sucking Freaks by checking it out for free, actually, on Hulu. Hey, there you go. So, until next time, till tomorrow's review, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course, check out this review and every review at RottenTomatoes.com. And if you have a review for me, you want me to review a movie, you all you gotta do is shoot it at me, baby. So, until tomorrow, peeps, troop, ah. Uh...